Um, just tell me a little bit about what you mean by higher Bitcoin. Yeah, so whenever we want a particular job done or we're looking to provide some type of utility to ourselves, you know, you're all sitting in chairs. Like, why did you hire a chair to sit right now instead of a couch? You know, if we look at products as we're hiring them to do a particular job, uh, we need to figure out, well, why are we hiring Bitcoin? Like, what job do we want it to do for us? And I think that the, the real solution that Bitcoin adds is because of its distributed nature, its censorship resistance, its uh, immutable persistence, all of the, its ability to be transferred over a communications channel, all of those things uh, give us a tool for monetary sovereignty. It gives us a way that individuals can hold the private keys to their own wealth. And that, I think, is, is a very empowering technology. Uh, it has an ability to change like fundamental economics of, of the system that we're in. And then, as a consequence, we as a society have to reorganize uh, how society is, is we interact with each other. And so I think it's important for us to keep in mind, like, why are we hiring Bitcoin? I mean, are, do we really want it to make microtransactions and like free faucet like transactions or do we really want to fundamentally change the world by having the private keys of wealth held by individuals and being able to transfer large amounts of money uh, without having to go through central third parties and then and, and so you know we have all these different network effects that are taking place if we keep our eye on the prize like what's the first reason we hire bitcoin you know, and then, you know, that takes priority over the second or the third or the fourth or the tenth reason for why we're hiring Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin can do so many things for so many different people, but, like, how do we prioritize what we should be focused on? So um, probably the biggest characteristic that distinguishes Bitcoin is its decentralized security, its integrity, its censorship resistance. And that makes it, independent of financial institutions, which is um, the, the, the rest of the financial um, payments world is not. And it makes it globally seamless, so cross-border, crossing cross-borders seamlessly. So I would, I would say those would be your highest priority because those are the distinguishing factors that, that distinguish um, Bitcoin from Visa and the other traditional systems. Those would be your highest priority uh, things in your list.